A long time GM designer says goodbye. Another special edition Chevrolet Silverado. Yeah, another one. And Cadillac is aiming at the super D duper rich. Plus we have a uh, pretty official release date of the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Hellcat and a major blonde bombshell will be joining the Fast and Furious cast. Who is it? I'll tell you. And it's Tuesday, folks, so that means someone will be get will be getting caught. Huh. We'll get caught doing it wrong, like my grammar in that last sentence. <laughs> and Mike Spinelli will join me later to fill all of you in on what's happening with Slash Drive. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. It's a packed show today, right here on Fastlane Daily. Isn't that right, AJ? Yes, yes. You happen to be right. <laughs> Fresh off her role as the buzzed-headed badass Furiosa in last year's Mad Max Fury Road, Charlize Theron will be playing the villain in the upcoming Fast and Furious 8 movie. That's right, Theron. She's hot. And her involvement has been confirmed by the official Fast and Furious Twitter account, which said, quote, our crew will face its greatest adversary in our next film. Welcome Charlize Theron to the Fast family. Yep. She's a babe. That means Vin Diesel and The Rock and the whole FNF crew will be going head to head with whatever her character is when the movie hits theaters on April 14th, 2017. What do you think of that, Vin? I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Uh, yeah, of, of course, we get it, quarter mile at a time. That's all you say. Anyway, as you know, we have already heard that the successful franchise will be going all the way up to 10 movies and Omar can't wait. Also, FYI, that fan started petition to get me in one of the next Fast and Furious movies has over a thousand signatures, which is pretty badass. So if you want to sign it, the link's in the description. Hey, you never know, AK. Yeah, put me in it. Got a few more left. Rocket, well, no problem. I'm in. Hey, let me ask you a question. Would you ever pay $250,000 for a Cadillac SUV or $300,000 for a... Uh, Cadillac sedan? Would you okay? No, no. Yeah. I mean, besides that also being our FLD question of the day, which I will just repeat later on in the show, and besides the fact that I read your mind before I even finished the sentence, because you probably automatically said no in your head to the question, but hear me out. We are hearing that Cadillac is planning those cars as we speak. GM Inside News said Cadillac is working on some crazy, luxurious models, and the first one will be a $250,000 SUV that will sit above the Cadillac Escalade and will go head-to-head -head with the Bentley Bentayga. The other, well, that'll be a Cadillac sedan costing 300 G-bars. That will be a more luxurious version of the upcoming CT9 sedan and will take on the Mercedes Maybach S-Class. Those are some expensive Cadillac, cac, 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 you automotive cars. <laughs> nice. Something like that. The rumor mill is churning again, AK. Right there. And yeah, I get it. It's a rumor we've heard a million times it seems that the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Hellcat is coming soon. We thought it was going to be at the New York Auto Show, but that nah, wasn't there either. Although this info is looking pretty official. The info is that the, that the 707 horsepower SUV will go on sale next year in July of 2017. That's a pretty official uh, thing we're hearing from Jeep Boss. Boss. Mike Manley, he confirmed that date saying, quote, we talked about launching a higher performance vehicle which we'll do next year, which will feature the Hellcat engine. I mean, what else could it be talking about, right? It has to be the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Hellcat with its 6.4 liter V8 Hemi making 707 horsepower and 650 pound feet of that. Torque. It's gotta be. Oh, and uh, it may actually be called the Trackhawk because that sounds cooler, I think. Hellcat, Trackhawk, gotta differentiate. Same engine though. All right. In an attempt to uh, outmatch the competition when it comes to how many truck choices their customers get, Chevrolet has launched another edition. Meet the all new 2016 Chevrolet Silverado Rally edition, which looks pretty awesome to me. I mean, the new model was developed with the help of uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. because it definitely, 
Definitely has that racing-esque style to it. And obviously, you could throw some hammers back there. I mean, that's a given. And that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. There's the truck. Although, uh, in other quick GM news, it's confirmed that the legendary Ed Welburn will be retiring as the company's vice president of global design on July 1st. He's worked on legendary cars like the new Chevrolet Camaro, GMC Terrain, Buick LaCrosse, uh, Cadillac CTS, and a bunch more. Uh, he was recently in charge, he was in charge of the team that designed the awesome looking Buick Avenir and the Avista concept, which looked great. We all know, too bad they never even planned on making the Avista or using any design styles from it, but at least some sort of production model is going to come out of the Avenir is what we're hearing. I actually uh, saw Ed Welburn sitting over by Buick at the New York Auto Show a few weeks ago when we were shooting. It was when I did that, like, that damn Buick thing. Oh. Yeah. He was right behind the car. He actually designed it. Um, anyway, Michael Simcoe, a 33-year veteran of GM design, will take his place. So, uh, hey, uh, congratulations on an awesome career, Ed. All right. Time to watch someone doing what, AK? Doing it wrong. Oh, that's true. Doing it wrong. So in this beginning, in this beginning, in the beginning, this guy says he's always wanted to try this and that the truck is beyond fixing and doesn't work, so I guess opportune time for him. What he wants to do is immediately inflate the tire when the air expands. So he's spraying some sort of flammable accelerant into the tire, okay, like inside of the, the wheel. He then uh, is going to light it on fire and that should inflate it super fast. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it, AK? Nah, so uh, at about 20 seconds in, you hear a cute little kid voice say, why are you putting the spray on the tire? Why are you putting the spray on the tire? Yeah, it was something along those lines of what he said. The guy then starts throwing matches at the wheel and tire, but, you know, nothing's happening. He then sprays some more, and, uh, oh, there we go, we got flame. The kid again says something like, why you put the fire on the truck? Yeah, nothing is working though. The tire is still flat around the rim. He then gives it a shimmy and boom, and we have inflation. You then hear him say, oh, that worked. Oh, that worked. Now, let's see that again. Yeah. And you even hear it happening. Listen. Yeah. Oh, that worked. Now, yeah, I get it. You're people like, oh, dude. Yeah, it, it, I know it did work, and the guy didn't get hurt. But this kid went really, really wrong. That tire could have easily exploded all up in his face, as well as your kid's face, who was right there at the same time, behind the camera, obviously. So to answer both of that little kid's questions, why are you putting spray on the tire, and why are you put the fire on the truck? The answer is because you were doing it wrong, OK? Yeah, you were successful this time. You may not have eyebrows left. You've had a big ball of fire blow up in your face, either way, but none of it looked right, hence doing it wrong. Get what I'm saying? Oh, but Derek. I don't want to hear it. Links in the description if you want to watch it again. Analyze it. Do what you guys do. All right. All right, as you guys know, Time Inc. bought us, Fastlane Daily, and they also bought the channel that essentially was born out of Fastlane Daily. Essentially born out of Fastlane Daily. Slash drive which many of you have been asking what's going on with that. So, joining me is my good buddy I've known a very long time. What a great introduction, Mike Derek. Spinelli, dude. that's right. Great. <laughs> you went for Thanks the handshake. For that. you got to have the awkward handshake, or you can't have Not a awkward, uh, tete a tete. It was that awkward. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on, Mike? We, well, nothing. We, we, we now work under the same roof again. This is true. Um, not a lot of people know that we started out together at uh, Next New Networks. A little tidbit of information. Yeah. Mike Spinelli here was the OG, original, uh, one of the producers and writers of Fastlane Daily. Ha ha! Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. So uh, it's gotten a lot better since then. Thank you very much for, uh, for making the thing that we started better, and now we're, uh, we're working together on stuff. Thank you, Mike. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, good show. Good show, Derek. <laughs> it is a good show. So why, am I, why am I overdoing this? Go ahead. No, no, no. no, no now I'm, you. Well, a lot, of the, a lot of the fans have been asking. They're like, what's going on with Slash Drive? And, you know, a lot of those people that are at Slash Drive, you know, Matt Farah, uh, you know, JF, uh, you know, the list goes on. Even, even, even Mike Musto was on FLD at one time. Yeah. Uh, what's, uh, Alex Roy was on FLD. There's a, 
a, a lot of people that have come from the FLD side of things as well. Right. So uh, what's going on with that now? And okay, so so I mean, if you have watched uh, youtubecom slash drive in the past, you know that we used to do uh, a number of shows during the week. We had uh, Tuned with Matt Farah. We had uh, Driven. Uh, right. After Drive, we have the talk show that we do about cars, which is sort of nerdy. The Larry Cosilla thing. Larry Cosilla, Drive Washington. Clean. Yeah, Drive Clean. Right, so uh, we've been kind of on hiatus while we sort of crank up the production machine again. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that we're at Time, we can do that because uh, before we merged with Time, things were a little bit uh, up in the air, and now they are solid, and we're, we're producing shows almost every day of the week now this quarter. So uh, after drive is back, we're going to be with Mike and Zach from uh, Classic Car Club. Yep. Um, and Tuned is back. Matt Farah's got a whole season worth of tuned cars. Uh, we've got uh, Test Drive, which is a show that we do. It's quick five-minute uh, reviews of cars that we love. And we did that at uh, Thunder Hill Raceway uh, right outside of Sacramento in California. It's a beautiful racetrack. Um, we've got the BMW M2, we've got the Mustang uh, GT350R, we've oh, got a nice. bunch of cars. Yeah, it'll be coming up, they're, they're quick, uh, quick reviews, we're going to do longer reviews that are coming up later in the season. We're just starting to get stuff cranked over and uh, also some very cool stuff coming up for Drive Plus, which is the subscription service. Um, so we will be putting out a lot of free stuff, but we have some very, very cool stuff coming out on the, on the paid channel. To the, for the, for the diehard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're a diehard, you like long form content, uh, you know, documentaries, movies, that kind of stuff, we've got a lot of cool stuff there because we really want to make that thing worth the money, right? Because that's, isn't that the yeah, thing you're gonna make a product? Yeah, people are paying for it, they should get exactly. Exactly, yeah. so that's. A little more than what everyone else gets. Huh? Exactly, and, and it's a different model and um, we want to uh, help promote really good documentary producers. So uh, we're, we're in the process of signing some of, some of them up to, to do some stuff for Drive Plus, which is going to be great. So you're going to love it if you're into cars. You're going to love it even if you're sort of into cars, because they're really good movies, too. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. And documentaries and stuff are great to watch. Yeah. Whether, you, <laughs> whether you're really into cars or not, that stuff is just interesting. Yeah, it's really, I mean, because there's people stories. I mean, the, I, I'm, I'm really into the stuff that, uh, that just drives the whole car scene, not just the cars themselves, which are cool, mm. but the people involved and all the other stuff they do. So, One big happy family. Yeah, exactly. It'll be cool. I mean, you know, yes, it's not right now going to be quite up to speed where we were before, but we're getting there. We're cranking over the machine. We've got a lot of stuff in production right now. And uh, yeah, we hope half a year, by the end of this year, you're going to see like drive like it used to be. Yeah. And in fact, we still have the, uh, the NBC sports show. And there's a guy who's on another show on the BBC. Hmm. Is his name Chris something? Chris something. Chris. Who, it's very, very possible you're going to see that guy again over here. Uh, not, maybe not. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Spo all right, a little, little spoiler there. All right. Little, yeah, a little. little I mean, there. it looks really good. Uh, you know, Chris is a good buddy. And um, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks, that, looks like uh, he's going to be very famous. So we better, <laughs> well, better get the stuff Especially done. in the car world, he already is a very famous guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there you have it, folks. I mean, uh, Slash Drive well, you have is, it, coming, folks. is coming back. Sorry, I, I'm not used to being with you on this show. Well, like, I, would, I didn't say, like, the Derek D. Show. There you have it, folks. Uh, that's it, it for Mike Spinelli. Uh, see, that would be a little, but you're yeah. You're good. You're, you're, oh, I, you've come a long way. You've come a long way, yeah. So look forward to that. So there you go, folks. You have it. You wanted to know. I brought Mike Spinelli on. He told you. Thanks. All right. You want to stick around to the end? I'll stick around to the end. Cool. Okay. Is this question of the day? This is. Okay. Which I said earlier in the episode, but I'm going to say it again now. Would you ever pay $250,000 for a Cadillac SUV or $300,000 for a Cadillac sedan? Sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot. I mean, if I'm filthy rich and the car is like mind blowing, then sure, why not? I guess. I mean, it, look, if I had that kind of money to spend and Cadillac put out an amazing product, That's like, uh, you know, like a Bentley. Yeah, well, they want to they want to battle the Bentley Bentayga. They battle they, the Bentley Bentayga. They want to take on the Maybach as well. Maybach, the rapper. Yeah, they're Maybach. I, I would give them a shot. Yeah. All right, we'll give them a shot. That's the idea we're we'll talking about over here. Me, Spinelli and me, we're going to give it a shot. Who doesn't love a Cadillac? You hey, know what I'm saying? Oh, take it easy. All right. Come on. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for Fastlane Daily today, Mike. Good to see you. Appreciate having Mike on. Mike Spinelli, everybody. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Go check out uh, YouTube.com. <laughs> YouTube.com slash drive. Always gonna see. I see it. Look at this kid. Look at this kid. Oh. Boom. Come on, you bastard.
Your big lug, your big bastard. Your big lug. I mean lug. Remember when Mike had real long hair? Yeah, I had to cut it. Yeah. Court date. <laughs>